Brianna Clark. I'm the art teacher at Garfield Elementary, and I nominated Susan Teese for Staff Stars. Susan is the fifth grade teacher at Garfield. I nominated Susan for this award because her overall commitment and joy for the students and for the staff. She never ceases to amaze me with her compassion for each one of these kids. She is very conscious of our different cultures here at Garfield and is always looking for ways to make every student feel special. She's one of the most humble and selfless people I know. When I told her about this, she was almost embarrassed and kind of like, why would you do that? But she's very humble and excited about it, but she's also very selfless and doesn't want any recognition for anything, but she just, that's why she deserves it, because she never wants to be recognized for anything like that. Um, she doesn't do things just for her benefit. She really does take every student and staff member in, into consideration. Um, she lives by the word Ubuntu, which means I am because we are. Susan is always thinking about other people and always thinking about what is best for her students, and that's where kind of Ubuntu runs into that, where she's thinking about the decisions she makes will affect her kids and will affect the staff as well. So she's very conscious of that and I love that about her. She's kind of like the mentor of everybody. I know she's, I don't want to say she's the only wise one in the school because she's not. I mean, there's so many wise people at the school, but I was a first year teacher last year and she was on the specials team last year, so she was the librarian. Um, so it was very easy for me to go to her with any issues I was having, any questions I was having. Even though I have my own mentor, it was nice to have somebody like her in my building so that I could just run over to the library and ask her a question. She knew what books would go well with um, what I was teaching. Even though I never asked her to do that, she would just randomly email me and say, Hey Brianna, I thought about you when I saw this book. I think you would love it. And every single time she showed me a book, I absolutely loved it. So. I would say she's like a huge mentor for not just first and second year teachers, but even for seasoned teachers. She's just a wonderful person to have around. You can tell the type of teacher in person she is by how her students respond to other staff members, not just to her. Our students sometimes don't have the best lives at home, and when they come to school, Susan is the constant for them. So she's very supportive for them. She loves all of them, but she will also hold them accountable for things that they do, and she wants them to hold themselves accountable. She's building up their character and respect for life in general. She truly cares about their well-being, and she wants them to understand that their actions affect everyone. She's ultimately building more selfless beings just like herself. We did this thing called the Wish Tree last year, and it was on the news last year, and Susan was the brains and guts behind all of that, and she got the book for all the teachers. They read it aloud to their kids, and it was a story about different cultures that were kind of shunned in this neighborhood, and then these people came together and made a home for them and made them feel welcome, and she wanted all of the kids at Garfield to feel welcome. She even went um, even for a step further and did a Donors Choose project for I See Myself in a Book. And she just wanted these girls that wear hijabs. Um, they don't always see themselves in books, in the libraries, at any school in the United States. So she wanted to, well, she wanted to get more books like that into our library so that these girls um, could see themselves in a book. Kind of like we always see ourselves in books. Since we were little, we've always seen, and movies and all these things. So it's easier for us to kind of forget about that part. But she was so conscious that these kids don't have what we had when we were kids and so she wanted them to feel more welcome and more um, able to grow up and be a writer or be an illustrator or be whatever it is in their future so really digs deep into these kids and tries to find things that relate to them. So special teachers a lot of times in buildings feel kind of secluded from all the other teachers and with Susan being both a special teacher at one point and a classroom teacher she really got the idea of how difficult it can be sometimes to be a special teacher because we don't get to have that relationship with those kids as much as the classroom teachers do. The kids act differently in specials and she realized that and she was almost appalled with how different it is from the classroom to the specials classes. So when she went back into the classroom this year she wanted to make it a point that her class was going to act the same in specials and in her class. So she came up with a word, it's an acronym for all the specials, LAMP. L-A-M-P, Library Art Music, P-E, and she wants her kids to meet, reach a LAMP goal every time they go to a specials, which means they're showing respect, they're following the, the expectations in each specials classroom, and if they do like the LAMP, I get to give her a thumbs up, and she throws a huge celebration every single day about lighting the LAMP, and they go up and they turn a LAMP on. Um, eventually they'll earn something else on top of that, but it just goes to show how much she cares about all the, all the teachers in the, in the school, not just about the classroom teachers, but she's involving us in her class too and helping those kids realize that we need to be respected as well as 
her classroom, so. You can tell just by her class how much respect they have for their teacher. They do hold themselves accountable for things they do in my class because Susan will hold them accountable. She doesn't do it in a disrespectful way, but she lets them know that, you know, these are your actions and eventually they will affect your life and later on in life. So they just have a huge respect for her. I know all the teachers at Garfield have a huge respect for Susan and they just adore her and they adore her, her drive and her compassion and commitment to the kids and to the staff too.